Hey, in today's video, we're doing a review of Monday.com versus ClickUp and which is right for your needs, not only today, but also down the road. So if you're watching this video, most likely, you know, you're in business and you're trying to manage some stuff and you're just feeling a little bit out of touch, right? You don't feel like you have quite a good enough grip on what's going on. And this is really key that you're watching this video, you're doing the work and you're actually going to implement a project management tool. And the reason I say that is in my heart of hearts, I am not an organized person. I do not like standard operating procedures. I don't like having to take the time to organize things. I just wanna go out and do things. But if you have people in your business and they're all just doing things and there's not really a cohesive organization to it, it makes it very hard to scale. It makes it very hard to sell a business and it makes it very hard to run a business. So the, one of the first things that we're gonna be focusing on in this video is you can see this grid right here, this X, Y chart. I'm gonna break down your decision into four different quadrants. So why don't we just write down some stuff right now and get right into this chart. So at the top of the Y axis, hopefully I got this right. It's been a while since I was in college. Uh, you're looking at something called budget, right? And then on the Y or the uh, X axis, this is going to be function, and I'm also gonna put on here future, okay? So where does Monday.com and ClickUp live on this grid? Well, certainly for budget and function, you're gonna be looking at Monday.com. Now, if you're looking at budget with less function and features, you're gonna be looking at either Monday or ClickUp. If you are low on budget, right, we're at the bottom here. If you're low on budget and you don't need a lot of future features, you're gonna look at ClickUp. And then if you're lower on budget, but you need function, you may be looking at ClickUp or Monday.com. So the reason that I break it out this way is if you look at the actual pricing charts for Monday versus ClickUp, the easiest quadrant to explain on this is in the bottom left-hand corner. I do wanna make a quick mention that in the description of this video, you will find affiliate links which help to support my YouTube channel. You still get the best possible price whether you're going with Monday or ClickUp, but I may receive a commission when you use my link. And I truly appreciate it because again, it helps to support my YouTube channel as this is my full-time income. All right, let's get back to the review. So why don't we focus on that bottom left quadrant and why I think ClickUp is the way to go if you don't need a bunch of functionality and you also have a lower budget. So the reason that I highlight the bottom left quadrant as ClickUp, if you're lower on budget and you don't need a lot of functionality, is ClickUp really caters to this audience. So if we take a look at ClickUp's actual um, pricing page here, you'll see that they have a free forever plan and there's a couple things that are worth noting on that. Uh, with the free forever plan, uh, it's unlimited members and it's truly free forever. But if you look at the pricing package on money.com, uh, their free forever plan is up to two seats. So you're gonna be a little bit more limited if you have a team. So if you have like a small startup that's really lean on budget, you may be looking at ClickUp because you can actually have an unlimited number of seats versus Monday.com where you're limited to two. So one of the other things that's kind of interesting with this is that you're gonna see that ClickUp offers a few different features and functionalities at lower packages than what Monday.com offers. So if we were to go into Monday.com, I wanna show you what a Gantt chart looks like. So in a, just a little bit ago, we were looking at this specific pro project right here. And this is for a website, if you're building a website and like how you can actually organize this and have different people involved. If you're looking at the uh, timeline or Gantt chart view, and I gotta go back a little bit because this example is from a little bit ago, but you can kind of see a visual layout and this is called a Gantt chart or timeline view. And this is like where you can actually see like, okay, we need to do this first, then this, then this, then this, hosting comes in over here, launch launch test site, et cetera. So again, if you're looking at the ClickUp pricing, right? Uh, Gantt charts, those views are available in their $5 per month plan. But if you're looking at monday.com, those are actually available in the standard plan with just twice as much. So the next quadrant that I wanna focus on is the bottom right. And that is where you need a decent amount of function, but you still have a lower budget. So that budget is really gonna be determined on what you're comfortable with. You are gonna spend a little bit more with monday.com typically to get the same amount of features that you can get with ClickUp. So if you are in a position where you're lower budget and you don't see that your business operations are going to scale or grow much in the future, that's where I might suggest ClickUp. But if you do see your business growing and scaling in the future, I would recommend monday.com, which we'll explain in a little bit. Now, the simple reason for this is Monday.com actually positions themselves as a work operating system. So if we take a look at the ClickUp app, it's pretty basic in what you're looking at. This is a project management system. This is not a work operating system. And then if you go into Monday.com workspaces, so the project management part of your business is right here, but then there's also inboxes. There's also your ability to look at your own work and how it's laid out. 
And then there's also a ton of apps and integrations that you can add into it. And they actually have built some of their own apps and integrations. So again, looking at the bottom right quadrant here, uh, if you don't see your business scaling or possibly getting into new types of projects that may require a more robust tool, then I would say click up. But if you do see your project scaling and you see that your business is gonna be growing and it's gonna get more complex, then I would go Monday. So if you go into the upper left-hand corner, that's where you're gonna see monday.com mentioned first with the M and then click up next. So if you do have budget, but you don't need a lot of functionality today, I would recommend monday.com because that's gonna be the tool that's gonna be able to scale with your needs. Now, before getting into the upper right quadrant and talking about Monday as far as budget and features, something I wanna show you that's kind of interesting is a tool from LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So what you can do is you can actually look at a company and see how they're scaling and what's going on with the actual company itself. So you see that ClickUp has 794 employees and that they have grown in the last two years by over 1100%. So you can see a real serious increase in the amount of employees. I mean, that is a ton to go from what we're at before. 66 employees, uh, March, 2020 to 794. Now, if you take a look at that same timeline on monday.com, when it came to March, 2020, they already had 477 employees and now they have scaled to about 1,216. So they have experienced about 154% growth as far as employees. Now, where that growth is actually coming from is seed investment. So if you take a look at this article right here, it says that ClickUp has raised 400 million at a $4 billion valuation to expand its all-in-one workplace productivity platform to Europe. So if you're watching this video in Europe, this is good news for you. If you're watching this video and you're anywhere else, it's not as good news as far as a ClickUp user is concerned. And the reason I say that is if you've been in any business that is going through this kind of growth, what happens with that kind of growth is chaos, right? There's gonna be things that are gonna break, there's gonna be things that are gonna be issues because it's really hard to manage that kind of fast growth. Where Monday.com has been a little bit more stable and it's also been around a lot longer as well. So a really good example of a younger company trying to scale is actually the App Store reviews. So if you take a look at the screen right now, this is a ClickUp App Store reviews, and here is what their current app is at, and that's 4.7 star rating with 3,776 users. But you can see that they had an old app that just wasn't very good that had a 3.2 star rating. So they had to completely drop and revamp their app, and this is something that you see with younger startups that are scaling really fast. They're gonna make mistakes, there's gonna be issues, and they gotta fix them and figure it out. So if you take a look at the App Store reviews for Monday.com's app, you're gonna see 4.7 star rating with over 10,000 reviews. One of the things that's a little bit harder to understand from a video review is just the adaptability and adoptability of a tool itself. And what I mean by that is any project management tool is only gonna be as good as its weakest link. And the weakest link is gonna be your employees using it. If the tool takes a little bit too much energy and thought to figure out, people are gonna be less likely to use it. From my experience, monday.com is going to have the quickest user adoption rate. So how quickly are users gonna be able to get up to speed? And that is because that platform's key focus is user adoption. How easy is it to use? How easy is it for your employees to pick up and get up to speed? Now it's not that ClickUp is that much harder, but monday.com has been around longer and they've had more time to refine their process because they've had a steady and growing business over time as opposed to ClickUp, which has kind of had an explosion of growth. Now, as far as like which tool you go with, you're probably gonna be fine either way. So if you're looking a little bit more budget, like go with ClickUp. If you're looking a little bit more future focused or wanting to get into the weeds of functionality, go with monday.com. But I will say if you're planning on growing your business and scaling it, that monday.com is gonna be the easier tool to do that in the long run, just because they have more pedigree and track record. Again, guys, thank you for using my links in the description below with whatever service you end up signing up with. And then what you'll see on the screen here is a monday.com tutorial and then also a ClickUp tutorial that's, that's gonna walk you through how to launch these tools and what it looks like in your first week of using those tools. All right, I'll catch you in the next video. And again, thank you for using my links in the description below.